There's a route in Hamilton that has some great scenic views. It's also right in the middle of everything, while also being right on the edge of nothing. The route I'm talking about is the Mountain Brow Boulevard. Let's get cycling. We begin on Mud Street, which is not to be confused with Mud Street West, which is to the east, or Old Mud Street, which is to the west of Mud Street West, or Mud Street East, which is actually to the east of all four Mud Streets that we have here in Hamilton. No, this is Mud Street. It's a short 500 meter section. And it turns into the Mountain Brow Boulevard. So that's why we're going to include this. Right now I am cycling in what I like to call a pseudo dedicated lane. It's kind of a partially paved shoulder. If it was a little bit wider, it would get full marks as being a bike lane. It's just not wide enough. And also it comes to an abrupt end right at a kind of dangerous spot, I'll say. You'll see it in just a moment as we approach Arbor Road. It just kind of ends. The road ever so slightly also gets narrow, so cars are not going to really give you space. We are now on the Mountain Brow Boulevard. Mud Street receives a score of 67%, and if you made those pseudo lanes into proper lanes, it would receive a 74%. Continuing on, here we have Mountain Brow Boulevard, and as you can see to the right, there is gravel. I choose not to cycle in the gravel because the gravel gets kicked up. It doesn't have as much traction. You, you know, it's a little bit more dangerous. If the city just paves this section, makes it a proper dedicated lane, points will go up. As it stands, if you were to just count Mountain Brow Boulevard, the actual street, it would receive 70 8%. It's about five kilometers long. It has the steepest portion is about two degrees. However, that being said, there is a path that runs parallel north of Mohawk. And this is where it gains a lot of points. It actually changes the score from a 78 to a 93. Very little you can actually do to really improve that score. If you made all the pseudo lanes that are not part of the path uh, into proper lanes, you'd only end up with a 95%. And if you did that and made all the regular road portions into shallow po portions, it would only receive a 97. I say only 97 is pretty impressive. 93 is pretty impressive. Uh, again, we are currently cycling on a pseudo bike lane. If it was just a little bit wider, it would get full points. But because I like to cycle in the center between the line and the edge of the pavement, you're, you're still quite close to the cars passing by. So if they just extended the, the pavement just a little bit further, you could cycle more toward the center. Your handlebars would not be over the edge of the line and you're less likely to get nicked by a mirror of a car. It's quite wide, as you can see. Like, look at the gravel. The gravel is probably wider than the paved shoulder. But anyways, uh, to the left, we had just passed the ice rink, and to the right, we have the escarpment. What's great about the Mountain Brow Boulevard is that it runs along the escarpment, and it has some spectacular views of the city. Uh, I know people have been saying they want to see me pan off and look at the city so you can see the views. The series is kind of more focusing on what the road conditions are like. It's up to you to decide if you want to cycle these routes and see the views yourself. Uh, I will, later on in this video, try to pan my head off to the right so you can see some of the view when there's not so many people on the path up ahead. You will see there is a lot of people on this path. But yeah, uh, we are just passing over top of this bridge, which goes over the Escarpment Rail Trail. There is a connection to the Escarpment Rail Trail to the left, and it loops around, and you can go either north or south. But this is Mountain Brow turns right onto this path here. And as you can see, 
it is a very busy path. So that's why I'm kind of including both grades, because you may choose that you don't want to cycle on such a crowded path. If you choose not to, uh, the route that we're currently, the, the direction we're currently traveling in, there is no cycling lane. You can see those people um, cycling the wrong direction on the bike path because there is no bike path on the other side because I guess the city goes, oh, you're, you'll so cycle on this nice uh, separated uh, park path is what I guess you might call it. But as you can see, people have the right of way. Always wait for them. Don't be impatient with people. Uh, pedestrians always have the right of way. Even if they make a mistake, like if they cut in front of you, you need to be prepared to slam on the brakes if you have to, because as a pedestrian, you shouldn't have to think about these things. It's good when you do, but um, you shouldn't have to. One of the great things about this path, though, is that you bypass all the stop signs and you don't risk coming in contact with cars that are turning onto the road or turning off of the road. When you're on a dedicated bike lane, you do have to worry about that. Whereas when you have these park paths, it's so much better because you, especially the way this is set up here, we have the stop signs up ahead and you can see, I don't need to stop. You can cycle in both directions. But yeah, you don't have to stop at that stop sign. It saves you a little bit of time, which is good because there is a lot of pedestrians on this path. <laughs> Not much can be done to really improve Mountain Brow Boulevard. 93% is quite decent. It's an A grade. Uh, if you made all the pseudo lanes proper lanes, it would only become 95. And if you made regulars and sharrows, it would be 97. Uh, which are all great grades. Oh, there we go. This is very difficult to do because I'm actually looking forward out of the corner of my eye. So I hope you appreciated that brief little me looking off to the side of the city. You can you can see some of it. It's a, a wide enough camera angle that you can still see some, but uh, I do encourage you to, as you see routes in this series that appeal to you, cycle them. Take your time to look at the sites. Um, again, this is just a series where we're trying to focus on the road conditions, what we can maybe improve, what you might feel comfortable with. I think this is a route that pretty much everyone would feel comfortable with. If you have places to be and you need to cycle faster, um, perhaps not in this direction, but coming in the opposite direction, there's that cycle lane. So that's quite good. Uh, but you do see here off to the left where the cycle lane is, there is people walking in the cycle lane. So there is obstacles. It's just a really busy location just because of all the scenic views here's margate avenue with the, the proper stairs to go down um, this is before hamilton um, said do not use the stairs for exercise for the covid lockdown i'm kind of dating this video for anyone in the future uh, but hamilton was in a lockdown where the stairs can't be used unless it's for you to go to work, for you to go to a doctor's appointment, for you to get groceries. You can't exercise on the stairs. Um, so yeah, if you see a lot of people out exercising uh, in this video, that's what's going on. This was before that lockdown. So yeah, it's um, it's quite nice. I, I don't know if, what else to really say about this route. Uh, it eventually turns into concession, and the next video in our series will be concession, uh, just because it is a continuation of the road, but it's also a uh, it's 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 a shorter distance, but it's still long enough that it should really be its own episode. Mud Street at the beginning, 500 meters. I'm not going to make a single video for Mud Street. It's going to be tacked on. Now, Mud Street West slash East, uh, that's going to be a video of all of its own, although um, that won't be for quite a while. Or maybe I'll just do Mud Street West because Mud Street East goes all the way out to Niagara region. And then it turns into Mud Street West again. 
and then Mud Street East at some point. <laughs> uh, so there's actually six Mud Streets in this region. It's crazy. Um, having four in Hamilton is a little crazy, but uh, it is what it is. So here's where the path ends. You do get to bypass this one last stop sign. And it turns into a dedicated bike lane for a very brief section. And as you can see, I'm checking over my shoulder because this bike lane actually leads you into the Kenilworth access. And it stops abruptly. And I don't recommend going down the Kenilworth access. Um, so I don't know why the bike lane leads you there. So uh, this is what I like to call the traffic knot. It's not really a circle. It's kind of a knot. It's not too difficult to know where exactly you need to go. Just make sure you don't go down Kenilworth access. And here is where we have no cycling lanes whatsoever. It is just a regular road and it goes all the way to concession. Um, so it loses a bunch of points here. I don't think we need to have four lanes for cars. Like everyone seems to almost be in the exact same lane and the ones that aren't in the same lane, they're spaced far enough apart that they could have been in the same lane. <laughs> so I think this four lane section here should really be three lanes for the car with a turning in the center and then a double bike lane. Um, perhaps with some protection. So you could bump up the score to about 100 if you did that. If you change these four lanes into three lanes with a dedicated, protected uh, cycling route, you'd get 100 for Mountain Brow. There is a path off to the right, but there doesn't seem to be a natural flow for cyclists to go onto that path. It's also a little bit narrower. Uh, so I decided that that is probably meant more for pedestrians. And uh, yeah, just up ahead, the route turns into concession uh, just before the, uh, the park up ahead. And there's tons of parks all along this whole route. Uh, you can stop, relax, see the sights, take a seat, maybe do a little bit of maintenance on your bike and have a great view and have a snack. It's great. Uh, I really do enjoy this route. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one when we visit Concession. Take care.